And lots of hard hats and blueprints can be found in Grand Island as the town continues to develop. And another plan could be on the way with a multi-million dollar project at Ryder Park. Local 4's Leroy Triggs has our story. At the Grand Island City Council meeting, officials were presenting renderings for $5 million worth of improvements to Ryder Park. Upgrading the city's baseball facility will give it a new look and feel, which includes changing the playing surface from natural grass to artificial turf and adding backstops that way softball can utilize the field as well. The goal is to start demolishing by spring 2025 with opening set for spring 2026. Sometimes, you know, if there's too much rain or, um, you know, in, especially in the spring too, I know the high school baseball team would like to get on there sooner. Their, their season actually starts in February. You know, the field is a lot of times just not ready for it that early in the season. One city council member asked if moving the project to Veterans Softball Complex was a cheaper option. But Director of Parks and Recreations, Todd McCoy, says the cost would be similar. A local group that features Grand Island Public Schools will also fundraise $1.75 million. By us all coming together to renovate the Ryder Park field, which is a centerpiece for the uh, community right in the middle of town, um, it's going to bring in opportunities for uh, other, other types of programs in town, whether it be softball, uh, baseball, youth baseball tournament. Kids, uh, kids with their parents will be probably spending uh, the weekend in the community. Clint Ruther says the tourism impact from this project could help businesses throughout Grand Island. For Grand Island Public Schools, having a field others across the state want to play on will help the school's brand. At any time that you can host something here and you're proud of it, it just it, it brings something to the community. It's something that, that we get to bring here and there's excitement. Our kids then get more involved and our kids want to be here. Our families are bought in. All of those things contribute to what we want to do. And, and for me, that just makes Grand Island better and it makes Grand Island Senior High better. Chris Ladwick says the project is a win-win situation for the city and Grand Island Senior High School. He says this project will attract schools from Omaha and Lincoln to Grand Island for tournaments, allowing the city to show all other projects as well. Reporting from Grand Island, Leroy Triggs, Local 4 News.